Kazan, the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan, is annually visited by around 2 billion tourists, and it's rightfully considered being one of the most beautiful cities in Russia. Besides attractions and vacation spots for tourists, Kazan is famous for its peaceful coexistence of people with different nationality and religion. The traditions of the millennial city are shown in Yardam Rehabilitation Center. For hundreds of people, the center became that place where they always wanted to come back to. In July of 2013, in Kazan, the unique medical and educational rehabilitation center Yardam was opened, and it has no analog in Russia and near abroad. The center is connected with a mosque of the same name Yardam, from Tatar translates as help, and this help doesn't depend on nationality, worship and age. Center present the whole complex that was built especially for the rehabilitation of sightless people and visually impaired people. Here is a dormitory for non-residents, dining room, treatment and massage classes, computer class and library. In premises, all norms for a living of visually impaired people are observed. In the center, people with disabilities learn writing and reading by Louis Braille system study computer literacy, different skills required in life, different adaptation courses that take place. Courses in the Rehabilitation Center Yardam include massage procedures, educational, creative and sport lessons, different cultural events, such as visiting the museum, theaters and concert halls. Financing of the center is on the charitable foundation Yardan that aims to create all conditions for carrying out courses. It pays for ticket, accommodation, studying and food for all courses guests. Work with visually impaired people is one of the directions of charity of Yardan Foundation. Work with visually impaired people started long before the rehabilitation center was opened. Even in 2007, in Kazan, countryside, Levchenko first courses of rehabilitation started, and during this period thousands of people passed the courses. The Yordam Center is managed by Vice President of Foundation Malika Hanum Gilmudzinova, who has developed unique methods of teaching and rehabilitation of visually impaired, deaf and deaf mood people. From 2016, in the center was passing the courses of rehabilitation for people with cerebral palsy, people on wheelchair. They have own program where participants are studied to live in society and being active. Participants besides lecture and lessons have a massage, sports competitions, visiting theaters, lessons of home economic and creation. The main task for the teacher and center employee is teaching to live full, even for life, and to be independent. In order to hold the courses like this, the Yordan Foundation doesn't count only on help of sponsors and maisoners, but trying to earn money independently. Close to the center, banquet hall was opened, which can accommodate up to 100 guests. In the building of center, Two more halls of different capacity are placed. Besides this, typography is placed in the basement, where books on the Lewis Braille system are printed and practically all kinds of printing services are provided. The one who orders here becomes kind of philanthropist, because all income goes to maintenance the center and carrying out courses. Today, in your dumb center, many skills and knowledge are taught by blind people, the former students of Malika Hanum. A lot of Russian regions work by home methodology in these regions her students teach. For good reason, in the circle of visually impaired people, she is called the mother of blind people. Besides the work with people with different physical problems and targeted assistance for people in need, the Foundation annually collects and distributes facilities of the cat and gushur. It gives away meat of sacrificial animal on Kurban Bayram to people in need. During the month Ramadan in Kazan it feeds 1,200 people daily. It regularly supports with literature the Muslims which are the institutions of FPS of Russia. Every week, Foundation Yardam 
for white or low-income people with food. In the center, Sunday school works too, where adults learn Arabic language and study correct pronunciation of Quran. A close partnership is held between orphanages of Delnodolsk and Tlaish districts, also the disabled society of Kazan village Yudina. Besides disabled people, the Yordan Foundation engaged with rehabilitation of addicted people, drugs, alcohol, game addiction in one of the Kazan village. One of the priority for Yordan Foundation is children. Two houses for adapted family, which bears the name Family Hearth, was acquired in the village Old Dzuri of Tulachi district of Tatarstan. Malika Hanum, the director of the center and vice president of Yardam Foundation, became an adaptive mother for 10 children from orphanages. In 2016, the Yardam Foundation proceeded to build a dormitory for children from problem families in the village Burbash of Baltasy district of Tatarstan. In 2018, it was opened and received first pupils. The Yardam dormitory designed for 30 places. Nowadays, it accommodates 15 children from different districts of Tatarstan. The primary religious education they get here will help to go to a higher religious educational institution. The President of Republic Rustam Minihanov and Mayor of the city Ilsar Meshan have provided significant assistance to the foundation, due to which the center and mosque Yardam found its place. And now, millennial Kazan, rightfully proud with the unique center.